Now after studying some terminologies based on linear programming, how to solve the linear programming? What method would we adopt? What is the technique? That is a question that is running in our minds. So let me make it clear that if a linear programming problem is there, it has constraints and it has only two variables into picture. So that time we would be using the graphical method. What kind of a method? Graphical method. But if there are more than two variables, then this graphical method wouldn't work. And which kind of method would we adopt? That is not of concern to us because our syllabus is only concerned with the graphical method. So the what is the condition or what is the limitation of this? That this works well only when there are two variables. If there are more than two variables, this method won't work. We would follow simplex method, but that is not in your syllabus. Now, graphical method, as the name suggests, would deal with graphs. And these graphs, have to be drawn with precision. You have to use a ruler and a pencil because otherwise the measurements won't be accurate. So what kind of things do we need to know in order to go for the graphical method? The first thing that graphical method itself is of two types. One is your corner method and the other is isoprofit or isocost method. So isoprofit or isocost method. So now the corner method would be used widely extensively. Isoprofit, isocost is not that important for us because most of the questions of our scope are solved by the corner method only. So this makes it very clear that graphs have to be dealt with and for graphs you have to revise your chapter of class 11. The chapter is linear inequalities. Please do not ignore this chapter if you have not started revising it for this chapter till now. It is high time that you revise this chapter and then watch the next video on details of graphical methods, especially corner point method.